Hey, hey, Sagittarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your February 2022 full snow moon reading. So welcome back to the channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Sagittarius and take a look at what is going on around this full moon cycle which lands on February 16th depending on your location. So we'll take a look at where your energy is currently at Sag. We'll take a look at what you'll be celebrating, what you are focusing on manifesting and the potential. We'll get messages from spirit and your guides as well and then we'll wrap it up with how you've grown during this moon cycle and action steps that you can take to continue on your soul's journey. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates for you, Sag, and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so we're going to dive into your reading here, Sag. Uh, and it looks like you may have Scorpio, Virgo, or Pisces placements in your chart, or you may be dealing with uh, others that have these placements in their chart, as well as embodying the energy itself. So first off, we have breathe through the tension here. So Sagittarius, uh, during this full moon energy, a lot of emotions may be stirring up for you. There may be a lot coming to the surface here, which I feel is positive for you because it's going to bring about change. It's going to bring about transformation. I am seeing the uh, the death energy of something ending here, a cycle that is uh, ready to be reborn into a new chapter here. Uh, this is the energy I feel of letting go, letting God, breathing through any obstacles or challenges or anything that has been causing you stress or tension uh, in the last couple of weeks. Now, when we do these full moon readings for you, this can be the entire month of February. This can be uh, embodying the energy two weeks before, two weeks prior. Uh, but this can also be what you've been going through in the past few years for your for your energy. But this is about you breathing, taking a little bit of downtime, kind of with that hermit energy of uh, maybe taking a little bit of a time out, pulling back from a situation to get ready to start something new because we do have assess the situation, Virgo energy. Uh, so a lot of you are seeing a situation for what it is. I feel like you're finally able to make a decision here because they are giving me decision whether this is in a relationship that's very important in your life, Sagittarius, or this is you uh, doing things that are in your highest good. They're showing me here that some of you may be givers, 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 constantly giving your energy, your time to other people, and sometimes you fail to give to yourself. And I feel like that may be a piece of one of the decisions coming in that you will make around this full moon is to pay attention to your own feelings. Because next here, we have honor your feelings, Pisces energy, Sag. So there is a need to rest. There's a need to kind of slow down and tend to what your body is telling you at this time. If your body is saying uh, to you or showing you that maybe you need to take naps more often, or maybe you've been having uh, sore shoulders, sore, sore back here, or maybe your hips or your ankles have been bothering you. This is your body's way of trying to speak to you if you are not listening intuitively here. Your body may be getting your attention. So do pay attention uh, and honor those feelings. Take the time to rest, uh, eat healthy foods, drink uh, drink plenty of water around this time as well. And uh, some of you, it's going to be very beneficial to maybe journal your thoughts, journal your feelings, or speak to others at this time as well. But we're going to dive in and see what is going on around this full moon cycle. So let's take a look at where your energy is currently at and what it is that uh, you can be celebrating around this time. All right, so we have the five of wands. There is the tension uh, that we spoke of here in the beginning. The five of wands can be about mental conflicts or it can feel like others are pushing you to constantly uh, either take care of them or tend to their needs. I'm getting the energy here with the five of wands that there needs to be more teamwork in a situation. This is about you overcoming obstacles as well, but feeling 
constantly in competition. Now this could be because you're constantly uh, striving to be either a better version of yourself or other people expect a lot from you, Sagittarius. So around this full moon, there is a sense of breathing a sigh of relief, really looking inward and uh, saying, okay, what is my next choice? What is my next decision? And this is what we were talking about earlier regarding you making a move or making a choice to do something differently. But I feel like you are thinking logically at this time, but also uh, thinking with your emotions. But the beautiful part about this, Sag, is that you are combining and balancing the two. You're not letting the emotions overrule decisions, but you are thinking logically. So uh, when you meet that heart and that head in the middle, that's when miracles happen for you. So I feel like you're overcoming any of the tension ooh, or stress or, or uh, stress or obstacles. And you see here that the eight of wands wanted to fly out. So uh, it landed right here on the assess the situation. So you may receive news. Uh, you may receive communication from others as well. But the eight of wands is the card of movement. So there's something coming in quite quickly. Once you determine what it is that you want, uh, whether that is uh, a move, a physical move. Maybe it's uh, saying yes to a job opportunity coming in for you, Sag. This could even be a relationship. You're letting obstacles or challenge challenges uh, really be released here because you don't want to fight. You don't want to be in this mental uh, stress or tension any longer. So I do feel that there's something showing up here whether again it's communication or just uh, action or movement that really changes the course of the direction that you're going. Uh, so if you've been feeling tension in any area of your life, I feel like you can expect movement in a positive way. So let's take a look at what it is you'll be celebrating. What is it that Sagittarius will be celebrating around this full moon time? Ace of Swords, there it is, that communication, beautiful. You're going to have an aha moment. There is a breakthrough here that you've been kind of waiting on. Uh, I feel like they're showing me the Ten of Wands energy. So the Ten of Wands is all about you taking on too much. This is about you finally releasing those heavy burdens, whether they were mental, whether they were emotional, or maybe they were physical or a combination of all three here for you. But Sagittarius, you're finally unlocking uh, the, the magic in your mind here because you can see in this picture or this uh, card, she's holding the key and the key is uh, within her own mind or the the um, opening is within her own mind. So you're having an internal breakthrough moment around this full moon, and it will have you uh, release any of these challenges, tensions, obstacles that you've been facing here. And it may have to do with some sort of communication that comes in. So this is really exciting because once this happens, you'll finally be able to honor those inner feelings. And maybe those inner feelings were you, Sagittarius, wanting to uh, bring more adventure to your life, bring more finances to your life, bring more love, whatever it is here that you're wanting to honor. Maybe you felt like you weren't able to do that due to a situation or a circumstance that you were in. So let's take a look and see what it is that you should focus on manifesting at this time. What is it that you should focus on manifesting? All right, we have the Queen of Swords, beautiful. This is about you setting healthy boundaries. Uh, this is also about communication. This is about you uh, telling something like it is or going after something you want and not letting anything stand in your way here, Sagittarius. Uh, Libra and energy here, but this is about you being and stepping into your own authenticity, your own integrity here and being honest about what it is that you want and uh, moving forward and taking action because they are showing me uh, that some of you have been w working possibly really, really hard to maybe achieve something even though I feel for some of you, you weren't even sure what the end goal was, but you you were working and working and working and you knew kind of what you wanted, but at the same time, you weren't sure. But I feel whatever this breakthrough aha moment is that you're getting clear on, you're finally moving in that direction. So the Queen of Swords is uh, somebody who definitely tells it like it is. Go for what she wants here. And it doesn't matter if you're female or male, uh, you are embodying the energy of 
grabbing the bull by the horns and really tackling something. So uh, some of you are moving in a forward, uh, well, most of you moving in a forward direction here. Uh, you're coming out of this tension stage, which is really great. Yeah, because you felt uncertain for a while. You felt uncertain on your path, Sag. What should I do? Should I stay? Should I go? Uh, is this job for me? Will I get a new one? Should I continue to try to work on a relationship here? Or when will a relationship come in? So there was a lot of uncertainty here, but I feel like you're manifesting clarity. You're manifesting truth. Don't be surprised if people come uh, come into your energy sphere around the full moon and start telling you truths, start telling you things that uh, make them happy or communicating what it is that they need. But it's very important for you to do so in return. And that's what the Queen of Swords does. She communicates what she needs, uh, whether it's from other people or whether it's communicating and being truthful with herself here. So this is beautiful because anything that again, has felt a little bit like an illusion or uh, confusion. You're, you were feeling a little bit frustrated or maybe even felt a little bit uh, un, um, like something needed to just unmask or come out of the cold here. I feel like you're finally moving forward. So this is really great, Sagittarius. Let's take a look here and see what is your fullest potential around this cycle, uh, even into March. So the full moon in March. Let's take a look here. So I feel like this is something you're working towards. Again, a relationship, a health a goal. Uh, it could be a career move or a business move. Four of Wands. There it is. Reaching a milestone. Success. Some of you, it could be a relationship. This is the halfway to marriage card. 11-11. Soulmate. Twin Flame. But this is even about vacation. Some of you may be planning a vacation. You do have the Eight of Wands here. Uh, but this is movement. And you finally see that you are hitting the milestones that you've been working so hard hard towards here. So your hard work, energy, and effort is paying off here. Uh, very beautiful. This also talks about possibly buying a home or land, or maybe you're selling a home or land as well and reaping the benefits. Uh, the Four of Wands can be about stability in your home life. Maybe you uh, felt a little bit unstable due to a, a career or due to, uh, they're showing me somebody had some sort of money difficulty where maybe money was taken away or you had to invest in something where it, it really uh, strapped you for a while or maybe you thought you were going to get a raise or a job and that didn't happen here. You're finally moving forward and you're going to see whatever it is you've been wanting to manifest take place here. So your fullest potential is to hit these milestones. Bring more stability in your home life, in your relationships and celebrate uh, the beauty here because this is really great. I love this for you. All right, we're going to see what your spirit guides and uh, the universe has for you here before we dive into the rest of your reading. Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius around this full moon energy? Full moon. Okay, we have give back. Beautiful. We're just going to get a couple before we dive in. We have uh, ancestral wisdom. Wonderful. Uh, that may be why those aha moments are showing up for you as well. You're getting additional ancestral wisdom. Breathe, which was has been the message from the very beginning here for you. And they want, there you go. Beautiful. Thank you. Now I know why. They have stay connected and be proud. So we have give back showing up here. So this is about you uh, accepting the gratitude and uh, receiving the gifts that you You've been manifesting for yourself is what they're showing me here. You, again, are putting in a lot of hard work. So this is about you giving back at this time. Now, this can be your time. This can be your energy. This doesn't mean uh, money. It certainly can for some of you. But it says today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts of expectation or getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it. They're telling me that some of you may have just had a circumstance. Thank you, Spirit. Uh, a circumstance where you did help somebody out. Maybe you opened the door for somebody at the, the store, or maybe you helped somebody carry groceries out, or maybe you uh, brought somebody uh, a plate of food or you know a casserole dish. Maybe you sent somebody flowers or balloons. So I feel like some of you may have recently done something for another person. And they're also giving me the name uh, Sam or Samantha. If that is your name, please take it as it resonates. It won't for everyone. You may uh, be named Samantha or Sam, or you may have that energy uh, around you. But we have give back, which is really beautiful. 
And some of you are really giving back to yourself. Uh, you're finally taking time for yourself after constantly helping others too. We have ancestral wisdom. Some of you are breaking ancestral patterns, uh, healing the inner child, healing some sort of generational, maybe pattern, cycle, or trauma that has been going on for a while in your family. Some of you may be researching as well more about your family roots, where you come from. Uh, maybe they're showing me uh, psychology for some of you you may be you may be wondering uh certain family members they may have had uh, a mental disorder that you may be researching at this time uh so please take that as it resonates it says we are your ancestors and we love you we walk the earth many years before you we ask at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences you are our legacy and we'll keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world yes you're definitely putting in the work here to make the next generation even better than this one here so this is really wonderful some of you are parents some of you are healing uh parental issues as well next we have breathe and this is the energy that we have showing up here breathe through the tension uh once you release the burdens that you've been carrying here sagittarius you're going to move in this really beautiful positive direction we're hitting these milestones so it may not be right around the full moon but they're giving me even a month out so uh even around march 8th from now until March 18th I feel like um, you are manifesting some milestones and some goals and you will be achieving and conquering them but it does say the breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul it's the connection between the inside and outside connecting you to the universe spirit and divine source the breath permeates your entire being with prana so what this is saying here for you is take some deep breaths from the belly some of you are in a constant fight or flight or you're constantly uh, running around physically as well as emotionally and this is saying pay attention to your breath pay attention to what your breath is trying to say some of you may have had uh, an issue with breathing as well in the last month or the last few months is what they're telling me uh, and I feel like you're finally starting to uh, feel the new light energy coming in uh, to your being here through the crown chakra some of you are feeling like you can breathe again so that's really wonderful all right let's take a look uh, stay connected this is about you connecting to your higher self here Sagittarius and connecting to the universe and knowing there uh, that there is a law of attraction and that what you think about you bring about and what you put out into the universe uh, will come back to you so it says we are all born connected to spirit often known as the divine yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from the connection as we journey through life in the physical world especially when you carry all of those heavy burdens from past experiences or maybe your day-to-day -day is so busy that we have a hard time tuning in and connecting it's saying now is an important time to reconnect to source this is about you reconnecting with yourself which is what we've been talking about uh, throughout the reading and lastly here we have be proud Sagittarius you have been putting in the effort there's telling me internally and externally so a lot of you have been working really really hard and now you're going to start to see uh, the fruits of your labor being manifested in your 3d reality here in your dream uh, it's time to celebrate all that you've achieved all that you are and all that you will become every once in a while it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud so pat yourself on the back here because we as humans fail to recognize uh, all that we accomplish and all that we do in this lifetime so they're telling me that you've been through a lot you've endured a lot but you've also put in the work here so pat yourself on the back celebrate whether that is you know giving yourself some time off maybe celebrating by going on a vacation I am seeing uh, a vacation or a, a need to kind of get away and pu push that reset button and that's what this uh, full moon is all about this full snow moon is about assessing your feelings honoring them and pushing that reset button uh, to move forward because the next few months are going to be uh, collectively quite busy quite fast energy here so let's take a look here Sagittarius and see what energy you need to keep this momentum going this forward movement this gifts ace of cups keep your heart open this is wonderful there's a lot of new beginnings coming in for you some of you this is new beginnings in love some of you this is opening your heart up to a career or to uh, a path 
regarding money that really fulfills your heart. For some of you, this could be a caring profession or even caring for others more, showing more compassion, not just for others, but towards yourself. So really wonderful. So again, in order for you to keep this momentum, keep your heart open. Uh, this is emotional satisfaction when this card shows up. So if you can keep your heart open, there's going to be a lot of uh, situations, a lot of experiences, and a lot of people uh, that come into your life in the next few months that help you... Uh, kind of help you learn how to equally give and take and receive, uh, receive love. There's love coming your way here or a love of what it is that you do <clears throat> if you stay open, <clears throat> excuse me, and honor your feelings and uh, take the time to kind of slow down and listen to what your higher self and your body is telling you. Beautiful. So let's take a look here and see how you have grown during this cycle. How has Sagittarius grown during this and they want one more here. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, thank you. Okay, so there's four cards that just came out here. Typically, uh, I get one. So what I feel is you've been doing a lot of work. You've been doing, again, there is a there is a heavy energy with this. But the good news is you're celebrating a release. You're celebrating an aha or a breakthrough moment that you've been wanting for a while. What is that here? Oh my goodness, wonderful. Uh, for some of you, you've had to do things uh, on your own. Well, let's just put it this way. You've had to kind of... Uh, You've had to either do things on your own, maybe this is uh, your own way of thinking, or uh, you felt a little bit alone, uh, or you feel, felt like you needed to kind of get into an energy where you needed to stand on your own two feet, but you weren't exactly excited on how to do it. Now you are. The Nine of uh, Pentacles talks about self-sufficiency, independence, self-control. Uh, there may have been situations that showed up for you uh, with this devil energy because this devil is in reverse, which is wonderful because it says you're freeing yourself from anything that holds you back, any toxic energy, patterns, thinking, beliefs. Maybe it's people, maybe it was relationships or a career, uh, but you're finally moving forward and you're feeling more independent because you were able to let go. And this is how you are continuing to grow is releasing things that just don't serve your purpose any longer, Sag, because you felt caged. Eight, uh, eight of Swords here is you felt trapped in a situation. Uh, again, this could be a thought pattern or obsessive thinking. Maybe it was a belief that you're finally having that breakthrough aha moment to get rid of. Maybe you felt uh, caged or trapped in a job or a relationship, but finally you're moving forward. You're having that moment and it's leading you directly to your 10 of cups. Emotional satisfaction here. The 10 of cups is absolutely beautiful, especially because in order for you to keep that momentum here, you have the Ace of Cups. Staying open, you will achieve Ten of Pentacles. And this is saying you're not going to be alone forever. You're not going to be doing this on your own. The Ten of Cups is all about serenity. It's the happy family card. It's about good fortune, peace. It's about positive relationships in your life, positive family, community. Uh, you're feeling, <clears throat> excuse me, you're feeling that emotional love and connection all around. So this is absolutely wonderful. And I, I see why they wanted four because they're saying here that you're finally coming up out of a situation that you felt stuck in or trapped in. And I feel like it will happen around the full moon uh, in February into that full moon in uh, March. So let's take a look and see what steps that you can take, beautiful Sagittarius, to continue on your journey. Page of Cups, there is a lot of love coming your way or a lot of heart chakra openings coming up for you here. So in order for you to keep growing and keep moving, uh, stay open, stay open to the idea of love if that's something you're looking for. Uh, but the Page of Cups is receiving an unexpected offer here. I feel like this is news of something that um, has the beginning potential to really grow into that Ten of uh, Cups. So this is really wonderful. I feel like something serendipitous, something synchronistic is going to show up for you around this time that you're really going to see the results happening. And you're going to be really, really happy because of this. I love this for you. Let's take a look and see what the angels have for you, Sagittarius, on how you can... Uh, Move forward. What steps that you can take to continue on your soul's journey? What do we have here from the angel spirit? Thank you. We have indigo. We have you are a powerful light worker. 
We have shield yourself. And we're going to do one more. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, angels. We have heal away addictions. Okay, so indigo. For those of you that are unfamiliar with what an indigo adult or what an indigo child or person is, they are... Uh, they carry the traits of a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. So Sagittarius, this can be your energy or maybe even somebody that you are dealing with at this time. Uh, but it says the person you are inquiring about could be an indigo. So uh, again, you may want to do some additional research and it may help uh, bring clarity to a situation here if you understand. And remember earlier uh, I spoke of psychology or uh, maybe there was somebody in the family or somebody you were dealing with that uh, you were kind of researching about their, I don't necessarily feel mental health, but you're wondering why they think the way they do or why they act the way they do or feel the way they do. Uh, and this has to, could be, uh, has may have to do, excuse me, tripping over my tongue here, because they are an indigo uh, person or energy here. And that could be you as well. It says you are a powerful light worker. So it is safe for you to be powerful, Sagittarius. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. So this is about you opening up. And that's exactly what I'm seeing over and over here with the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords. You have a lot of new beginnings showing up for you because you're opening yourself up. Uh, we do have Shield Yourself. Now, both of these kind of come together with Heal Away Addictions. You do have uh, the the Devil Energy in re reverse, which is good because you are you're releasing things that don't serve you. Uh, but you still may have things coming your way, whether this is people trying to kind of break you down or if it's situations that come up to test you. Uh, it's saying here, protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So yes, uh, envision this, this mental shield around you here or bubble, as I like to say. It can be a, a, a loving light energy. It could be that white energy coming through uh, or it could be a green or a pink bubble and just imagine your yourself wrapped in that where if anybody is trying to kind of penetrate it's going to bounce back all right and next we have heal away addictions now addictions don't always have to be alcohol and drugs it can be anything from obsessive uh, eating to obsessive thinking, uh, maybe shopping or compulsive shopping, whatever gets in your life's uh, way on how to move forward here. That's what addictions are. I mean, people can even be addicted to things that they think are healthy, such as exercise. Uh, so this is just saying moderation. And also it's time to let go of the behaviors that may be blocking you from your heart's desire. And I feel like this is how, again, you can continue growing because that's what it says here with this devil in reverse. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. So whatever it is for you, because we all have this, we all have things that we sometimes focus on too intently or obsessively that just doesn't serve us. But luckily we know not to stay in that energy for long. And I feel like you are not going to, or it may be something that you've been working on for quite some time. All right. Last but not least here, Sagittarius, we're going to get a message from the wisdom of the Oracle before we wrap up your reading. By the way, if this message does resonate, please do hit that like button. Uh, we have Unfinished Symphony. Unfinished Symphony. So this is uh, this is the energy of you needing to wrap things up because like I said in the very beginning, remember when we talked of the transformation, that death energy? It's a time of rebirth. Uh, it's a time of letting go, letting God. There's a cycle that's been outgrown here. So tie up loose ends, cross those T's, dot those I's, get those ducks in a row here, Satch, because you have a lot of beautiful new opportunities coming in for you. So whatever you feel is unfinished, maybe it's... Um, Maybe you want to talk to somebody from the past here just to kind of clear the air, get one final last word in, uh, or but I feel in a positive healing way. Maybe this is you just writing a letter, even if they never see it. Uh, this can be about tying up uh, loose ends with an old job or a career and moving forward into a new one. Maybe there's that two week uh, in between center here. This is also about, they're showing me some documents or organizing some papers uh, as well. They're also showing me one of those legal pads 
cats that uh, are yellow and they have the line. So if you have one of those, uh, or if you have it maybe sitting on top of a bunch of papers, you may need to organize that area or that section. But yes, wrap up loose ends, anything that's unfinished for you, uh, focus on that around this full moon, letting go because you have really wonderful new opportunities showing up for you. And you don't want to move into new energy carrying that old baggage. And that's what you are doing. You're breathing through any old stress or tension because it doesn't serve you any longer. You're assessing it from a brand new perspective here and you're honoring your feelings of bringing love and light into your energy. So Sagittarius, really wonderful reading here. I'm excited to see what comes in for you. Uh, again, if this resonates, please do hit that thumbs up button. Uh, feel free to comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I am looking forward to tuning in next time. Lots of love and light, Sag.